Hey everyone, welcome to George's Library. My name is George and today we're going to talk about Blankets by Craig Thompson. Man, this book's heavy. Graphic novels or comic books are a storytelling platform that is quite new to me. And although comic books have been around for decades, it's only in the last few years that they start getting some recognition as an, as an actual art form. The intention with my channel is to introduce a number of diverse stories and various genres for everyone with a taste of books or novels to search and get inspired from. Therefore, I am very enthusiastic to introduce various graphic novels on my channel that might actually make you reconsider the way you can approach them as an art form. That being said, although I have a lot of great things to say about blankets, truth is I have nothing else to compare it with. My exploration of this medium is new, but I'm very much impressed by it. Blankets is the closest graphic novel I found to a literary novel. It's a 600 page tome filled with beautiful imagery and honest emotions. The story is semi-autobiographical and it leads us through Thompson's life from childhood to adulthood. This is, this is not a new story. It's a story that we've seen before many times. Some of us even lived it. What makes it special this time around is, is Thompson's medium of expression and vision. The tough subjects described here are not being taken lightly. There are issues here related to child abuse, bullying, divorce religious fundamentalism, disabilities, faith, and of course, first love. This is a very sentimental story to which all of us will be able to relate in one way or another. It was quite often that I found myself stopping in the middle of the read and just thinking of my own childhood and family, along with personal situations that brought out similar emotions. Craig explores the essential memories and experiences that shaped his life, going through the three big relationships he had. The one with his little brother Phil, the one with the church, and the one with his first love Reina. These three relationships are being beautifully connected through his narrative choices. The story jumping from one timeline to another, the focus being on his emotional growth and understanding of oneself rather than linearity. Everything is so well put together, you can actually see the images moving in front of you. There are fascinating panels featuring verses of the Bible intertwined with Craig's pondering about life. The artwork was done well and imaginatively. Just have a look at it. It took Craig Thompson four years to finish this book. He had to draw it at night because he had a day job to attend to. It was worth it because the love and work put into it is noticeable. This is not just a story about first love. It's a story about everything that takes for a person to find his own way into adulthood. It's about dealing with and accepting your past. And most importantly, it's about learning how to let go and allowing yourself to grow. Okay everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy my reviews. If you want to hear more reviews, don't forget to click the subscribe button in the corner. And if you have friends that are interested in books and stories, then please don't hesitate to share my channel with them. I hope everyone is staying safe in these crazy times. Don't forget to be kind to one another. And don't forget to keep on reading. I'll see you next time.